Hello and welcome to a new video. We are on the beautiful island of Vulcano, which you can see behind me. <laughs> the Aeolian Islands consist of seven inhabited islands, all of volcanic origin, lying off the eastern north coast of Sicily in the Tyrrhenian Sea. Only Vulcano and Tromboli are still active, but two completely different volcanoes. Not only they are different, every island seems like its own little world. Join us on our journey across some of them. Our first stop brings us to the island of Vulcano, just around 20 kilometers off the coast of Sicily. It is famous for its mud bath, which appears to be closed. Luckily, that's by far not the only cool thing here. So this whole landscape here looks so surreal and I love it so much. It's so, so amazing and even with the spring we have here, with the tunnel spring, the whole island smells like rotten eggs. So Amy said I can fart as much as I want, which is a total plus, so I love this place already. So here is like the point where, you, where it smells like you walk through a fucking fart. Amazing. I'm, I'm a bit sad you can't smell it. It's, it's beautiful. We are on the way to the crater now. There is one of the most absurd things ever. There is a fucking traffic light. <laughs> and our host explained it to us uh, when the traffic light is red, there are a certain amount of people up there. So it's forbidden for the others to go up. So when the light turns red, you have to wait for the others to come down. Luckily, it's green, so we can go up. So this is the first time that I can see all of the Aeolian Islands at once. When we start back here we have Stromboli and Panaera. Back there is Lipari and Salina over there. And there you have the two other islands, which names I just cannot pronounce. It looks so fucking amazing. All these islands are little volcanoes. Well, only two of them are active. The volcano on which we are now and the Stromboli back there, which we will visit next week. Holy shit, it looks so amazing. <laughs> Up here on the crater, the landscape looks even more obscure. This crater was formed by the last big eruption from 1888 until 1890. <laughs> Right now you can mainly smell and see its activity due to the many fumaroles that leave yellow sulfur crystals on the surface. 2021 when I was on Stromboli, Vulcano was pretty active and pushed out a lot of gases. This led to parts of the island being evacuated. So yes, this volcano is active and there is a good chance it will erupt at some point. Also, it's a quite dangerous one as well as Vulcano does not release pressure consistently like Stromboli does, it will have an explosive eruption, which is the type of eruption that leads to massive pyroclastic streams. That's how the famous Pompeii and the other towns surrounding the close by Vesuvio were buried. And if you think this island was named after the volcano, then I gotta tell you, you're wrong. Vulcano is the name given to why we call volcanoes volcanoes. The island actually got its name from the Roman god of fire, Vulcan. So we just went for a swim. The spring water, the thermal water is really, really cool, warm. It's really nice, really cool experience to have such springs in the sea. Public transport between the islands is only possible by fast hydrofoil ferries daily and some bigger ferries that also transport cars every few days. They are not the cheapest, so if you really want to go to every island, make sure to have a little budget. And we're on the second island. I have new hair. Uh, this is Lipari and um, apparently Lipari has probably uh, the longest history of all the Aeolian islands, like human wise, like population wise. They have a lot of nice locals here. <laughs> so let's go, let's explore this island. I have actually no idea about Lipari. 
It's by far the most crowded and touristy place here, but that also makes it more affordable. So if you want to stay longer, this is probably your go-to spot. On the Aeolian Islands there are no hostels, so the cheapest double rooms you will find on Lipari start from 30 euros per night. Lipari has also the best infrastructure and a lot of cafes and restaurants, supermarkets and also the only hospital on the archipel. And as it's also the capital of the island, all the bureaucracy takes place here. There are also buses connecting the towns, but we opted for a scooter to be independent. Our first stop was the abandoned Pomis mining site. This is Pomis, Pomice in Italian or Bimsstein in German. And it's a very light stone that um, forms when uh, volcanoes erupt explosively and when there is a lot of gas in the magma then these very light stones with a lot of pores inside form. Pumice is used in a lot of industries. I will just give you a little hack when you are having like big pots with plants inside you can put uh, some of the pumice uh, inside so that the soil does not get too dense, you know, it, it's really a good thing to, to, to loosen the soil a little bit. Uh, but don't overdo it, because it also takes a lot of water out of the soil, so better do it with Mediterranean plants or something, or plants that don't need too much water. And maybe you, maybe you know this, these videos uh, where there is a lot of the pumice floating on the top of the sea. That happens when submarine volcanoes, underwater volcanoes uh, erupt and put out a lot of the, of the pumice. Actually in this direction we are kind of looking at the biggest underwater volcano in Europe. But of course you can see it because it's underwater. But more on that topic later. Driving on the islands is usually pretty easy. There is not much traffic, the biggest threat are tourists who leave their brains at home. One of the coolest things is that there are amazing viewpoints to see the other islands as well. And while there are no big mammals here, there are quite a few birds, like this flock of buzzards. I have never seen so many at once before. And apparently it's also falcon mating season. Then there is this old Roman buff. But it's closed, just like the mud bath on Vulcano. And I think it's a bit sad that those places are not used. Not only could they be a source of income on islands with limited possibilities, but if I would live here, this would be my go-to place during the sometimes rough winter months. Well, anyway, at least the great views are accessible year-round and are free. Here we have a different view of Vulcano. This place still amazes me. It looks just like you're in a scenery of Jurassic Park. And it's also time to get off to the next island. To really get a feeling of how life here is, you should of course stay way longer, but right now our time left for traveling is limited and so is our budget. If you want to see how it feels to be here in winter, check one of my oldest videos when I was on Stromboli in December of 2021. If you're English speaking, make sure to activate subtitles. So while we are arriving on Salina, I think we're gonna make a cut here and show you the next adventures that we had on Salina and Stromboli in the next video. 
If you enjoyed this one, make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the like button. Tell me in the comments what you think about the video and what are your favorite places on the Aeolian Islands. So long, have a great day, thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye!